revolutionary new series, but we're basically starting a new kind of fact series, 100 facts on, or 100 facts about, and the topics, the facts are on can be super broad like we're doing this evening, films, or they can be quite specific. Uh, it'd be great if you could leave your suggestions down below. I do have a list already of things we, we're going to be doing, but obviously your suggestions are always welcome as I aim to please. So, but without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's read you 100 facts about films slash movies. Fact. Number one. Once Kate Winslet found out she'd be sharing a nude scene with Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic, she flashed him the first time they met to break the ice. If you pardon the pun. Brendan Fraser nearly died while filming The Mummy. His co-star, Rachel Weisz, said he stopped breathing and had to be resuscitated during a scene where his character is hanged. Creating sounds for an extinct species can be hard, so Gary Rydstrom, a Lucasfilm sound designer, decided to get creative. The noise the velociraptors make in Jurassic Park is actually the sound of tortoises having sex. There you go. With her intricate costume and underwear in Cruella, Emma Thompson needed a team of people to help her use the bathroom. During Into the Woods rehearsal, Meryl Streep took a dangerous fall backward toward a concrete floor. As James Gordon and director Rob Marshall watched in complete shock, pregnant Emily Blunt stepped in and caught Meryl before she hit the floor. Emily Blunt to the rescue. Dallas Buyers Club only had a $250 makeup budget, but went on to win an Oscar in 2014 for best makeup and hairstyling. Production for Gone Girl shut down for four days because Ben Affleck, a diehard Red Sox fan, refused to wear a New York Yankees baseball cap. Eventually, the Bostonian actor and director David Fincher agreed to let him wear a Mets cap. <laughs> Anna Hutchison was only able to tolerate making out with a wolf head in the cabin in the woods because they covered its tongue in powdered sugar. Great film if you haven't seen it. Disney originally had Denzel Washington, Eddie Murphy, Wesley Snipes and Marlon Waynes in mind to star in Gore Runnings. Toto, Dorothy's dog in The Wizard of Oz, was paid more money than the actors who played the Munchkins. Toto received $125 a week, while the Munchkins earned $50 a week. Will Ferrell consumed so much sugar while filming Elf that he ended up suffering from terrible headaches, dealing with sugar eyes and having a hard time sleeping afterward. During his mirror scene in Nightcrawler, Jake Gyllenhaal got so into the scene that he banged his hand in the mirror and it cracked. He ended up going to the hospital to get 14 stitches in his hand. Alfred Hitchcock's 1960s thriller Psycho was the first film to display a flushing toilet. Before then, flushing toilets were viewed as filthy. Though it was not the first film ever made, the 1903 film The Great Train Robbery was the first film that told a story and is considered the first narrative fiction film. Under 12 minutes long, it was produced by Thomas Edison's Edison Studios. Tom Hanks revealed that he and director Robert Zemeckis paid for some of Forrest Gump when Paramount limited its budget. While the director and actor paid to shoot several scenes, they asked the studio for an increase in the profits. Tom Hanks earned an estimate 
estimated $65 million on that film. Another great film. Schindler's List relied on advertisements to get costumes for extras. The film's costume designer, Anna B. Deruska, Shepard, I've probably butchered that, I apologise, required costumes for the 20,000 extras in the film and advertised to fill the need. One of the most memorable moments in Pretty Woman was improvised. When Edward snaps the necklace case on Vivian's fingers, Julia Roberts' reaction is genuine. One of the most famous lines in film almost didn't happen. At the end of the 1939 film, Gone with the Wind, Rhett Butler says, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. The motion picture production code, also known as the Hayes Code, prohibited profanity in film. Producer David O. Selznick came up with 22 alternate versions of the line, but thankfully he never had to use them. A famous pulp fiction shot was filmed in reverse. John Travolta pulls the needle out of Uma Thurman's chest after she overdoses in the film Pulp Fiction. The actual shot was filmed in reverse, which made it seem as if the needle made contact with Thurman's skin. This made the shot much safer, since it reduced the risk of Travolta puncturing his co-star. Fact number 20. The Hollywood sign once read, Hollywood Land. The first drive-in theatre opened in 1933. Real squirrels were used in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I actually verified that one because I didn't believe it, and it's, it's true. Disney wanted Robert De Niro as Captain Jack Sparrow, but he declined the role because he thought the movie was going to bomb. I can imagine anyone else other than Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. In the first draft of Back to the Future, the time machine wasn't a DeLorean, it was a refrigerator. Before director Christopher Nolan started filming The Dark Knight, one of the greatest films of all time, he made the entire cast and crew watch the following movies in order over four days. King Kong, Citizen Kane, Cat People, Stalag 17, Black Sunday, A Clockwork Orange, Heat, and, of course, Batman Begins. John Travolta would have played Maverick in Top Gun if his asking price wasn't so high. Natalie Portman dislocated her rib while shooting Black Swan and had to give up her trailer so the low-budget film could afford a medic for the rest of shooting. <laughs> Will Smith was almost Neo in The Matrix but chose to do Wild Wild West instead. In classic Hitchcock movie North by Northwest, Cary Grant was actually older than his on-screen mother, Jesse Royce Landis. The Lion King was originally known as King of the Jungle until someone at Disney finally remembered that lions don't actually live in, in jungles. <laughs> Darth Vader only has 12 minutes of screen time in the original Star Wars. They didn't have to do any fancy makeup or post-production work to make Ed Helms look like he was missing a tooth in The Hangover. He has a real-life implant because an adult tooth never grew in. In Home Alone, Buzz's girlfriend is actually a boy in a wig. The director thought it would be too mean to ask a girl to be in the film this way. <laughs> because of severe hair loss, Sean Connery wore a toupee in every Bond film he was in. What fraud. They designed E.D.'s face by combining Albert Einstein, Carl Sandburg and a bug dog. In the movie Dread, they 
slow Danny Justin Bieber song by 800 times to create the slow motion noise. <laughs> Surely there are better ways to do that, no? Fair enough. They waxed, uh, no sorry, 101 Dalmatians and Peter Pan are the only two Disney movies where both parents are present and at least one doesn't die. That's really, that can't be right, that's so depressing. <laughs> they waxed Steve Carell's real chest hair in The 40 Year Old Virgin. He thought the scene wouldn't have been funny if it was done with movie magic. That scene is so funny, that whole film is hilarious to be fair. So good, I love Steve Carell. Because they were shooting in black and white and colour didn't matter, they used chocolate syrup for the blood in a psycho. The horror genre has never got much love from the Academy, though there still seems to be a bias against scary movies during award season. The Exorcist earned 10 Oscar nominations in 1974. Robert England was not first choice to play Freddy Krueger. The first ever animated film to be nominated for Best Picture was Beauty and the Beast in 1981. Apologies. The Shining was nominated for two Razzies in 1980, including Worst Director for Stanley Kubrick. The other nod went to Shelley Duvall for Worst Actress. You know what, I have to agree, I think The Shining film is absolutely awful. The book is incredible, but the film is just terrible. Like, it's so, oh, it's so dull. <laughs> In the sci-fi thriller The Matrix, Sean Connery was originally offered the role of Morpheus. He turned down the role because he couldn't understand the script. I don't blame him. The working title for E.D. the Extraterrestrial was... A Boy's Life. The first Twilight film in the franchise is the only one to not receive any Razzie nominations. I think that's fair enough to be fair. I mean, a little side note, the first Twilight film is definitely the best one because it's more of like a cult indie film. Then they just become so cheesy and stuff. Again, the books are great, but those films, like, what's the second one? New Moon. It's like the worst thing ever, but... Maybe I could rant about that in another video. <laughs> During the famous diner scene in Harry Met Sally, Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal were only required to talk about women faking orgasms. That's when Ryan improvised a very funny demonstration. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe was said to have broke 80 wands while filming the Harry Potter movies because he often used them as drumsticks during breaks. Fair enough. In Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear's original name was Luna Larry. <laughs> and fact number 50, there was a specific production budget set aside for cocaine during the shooting of The Blues Brothers. I fact checked that one as well and that's true. During the filming of a scene in Django Unchained, Leonardo DiCaprio accidentally cut his hand open. He stayed in character though and ultimately wiped the blood on Kerry Washington's face. That's lovely. In the scene from Poltergeist where Joe Beth Williams swims through a pool of bones and skulls. She wasn't diving with props, they were real dead bodies. Similarly, all of the worms and snakes in the final scene of The Craft were real. Natalie Portman was originally cast as Juliet in Romeo and Juliet when she was 13 years old. However, the age difference between her and leading man Leonardo DiCaprio proved problematic. Understandable. That wasn't the only dramatic occurrence on the set of Romeo and Juliet. One of the movie's hair and makeup artists was kidnapped by gang members and held for ransom. He was returned by being thrown out of a moving car, which caused him to break his leg. Now, I had to check that one, and that legitimately happened. I couldn't believe it. That is absolutely wild. O.J. Simpson was 
was almost cast as the Terminator, but James Cameron thought he was too pleasant to portray a dark character. I will not comment. Gene Kelly performed the title number in Singing in the Rain with a fever of 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Just one minute of the nightmare before Christmas took an entire week to film. Most of the dialogue in The Blair Witch Project was improvised. The cast were only given notes outlining the general direction of the narrative for that day's filming. Yeah, if you watched Blair Witch Project, that, that is not surprising. It really shows. Good film though. There's a scene in Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, where Aragorn kicks a helmet, screams in anguish, and falls to his knees. It turns out the reason for this reaction is because he actually did break a toe. To come clean, I've never watched any of the Lord of the Rings, which is really strange, because I'm a nerd, and I probably would like them, I just, they just seem like <laughs> so long, don't want to go through all that. Daniel Radcliffe was supposed to wear green eye contacts throughout the Harry Potter movies in keeping with the description of the character in the book. However, he found them so excruciatingly uncomfortable that they just decided Harry would have blue eyes instead. It's not really that important, is it? Jeremy Irons developed vocal problems midway through recording the song Be Prepared for The Lion King. The song was completed by Jim Cummings, a.k.a. the voice of Winnie the Pooh. In 1914, Gone with the Wind actor Hattie McDaniel became the first ever African-American actor to win an Academy Award. However, thanks to racial segregation, movie executives had to beg for her to even be able to attend the ceremony, where she was then seated at a small table at the rear of the venue, away from her fellow nominees. Oh, I just can't believe that that was a thing. Like, just absolutely appalling. The poster for Just My Luck features a paparazzi photo of Lindsay Lohan. In fact, the studio loved it so much that they decided to change the movie's tagline to Everything Changed in the Wink of an Eye. Famous Star Wars line, I love you, I know, wasn't actually in the original script but was suggested by Harrison Ford. Robert De Niro paid a dentist $5,000 to mess up his teeth for the role in Cape Fear and then $20,000 to fix them afterwards. Oh, I just, I couldn't do that. Oh, they're suffering for your craft as an actor, but that is just, <laughs> that's horrific. For his role as a drug addict in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Charlie Sheen stayed awake for 48 hours straight to achieve an authentic look. James Cameron spent more time with the Titanic on diving excursions than the original passengers did on the ship. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> Some Wookiee suits in Star Wars were made from real human hair. Strange Love, Peter Sellers was paid $1 million, 55% of the film's budget. There is a sound effect called the Willem Scream that has been used in over 200 movies and TV shows since 1951. It is definitely more than 200. That scream is everywhere. Django Unchained is the first time in 16 years that Leo DiCaprio didn't get the top billing. Samuel L. Jackson used the word mother, budger, to overcome his stammer. Michael Myers' mask in Halloween is just a Captain Kirk mask, altered slightly and painted white. Ryan Gosling was cast as Noah in the notebook because the director wanted someone not handsome. If Ryan Gosling isn't handsome, then there's no hope for any of us. Drive director Nicholas Winding Revan failed his driving test eight times. That's pretty
really funny. Sigourney Weaver actually made that impossible basketball shot in Aliens Resurrection. The original cut of The Wolf of Wall Street had over four hours worth of content, so it had to be cut further. I would love to see that four hour cut, one of my favourite ever films. Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon agree that if they're ever confused for one another, they'll just go along with it. Sam Raimi has a lucky car that is in all of his films, including his pre-automobile western, The Quick and The Dead. Morgan Freeman's line in Shawshank Redemption, maybe it's because I'm Irish, it's not a joke, in the novel Red actually is Irish. The ornaments that Marv steps on in Home Alone are actually candy. Biz Brosnan was contractually forbidden from wearing a full tuxedo in any non-James Bond movie from 95 to 2002. Dan Aykroyd's first script for Ghostbusters was set in the future and Ghostbusters were completely normal like paramedics and firemen. That would actually be pretty cool. Within three days, The Hunger Games became the highest grossing film for Lionsgate movies. To thank Robin Williams for his work on Aladdin, Disney sent him a late Pablo Picasso painting. Deserved his brilliant as genie. Will Smith was pretty good too. In Raiders of the Lost Ark, when Indy shoots the Arab swordsman, he was originally meant to fight him, but Harrison Ford was too ill to fight properly. Saw was filmed in 18 days. The charcoal drawing of Kate Winslet in James Cameron's Titanic was actually drawn by James Cameron. In Harry Potter, Alan Rickman was the only person other than J.K. Rowling to know Snape was defending Harry because he was in love with Lily to make his performance genuine. I love that. I love that. Shout out Snape. And rest in peace, Alan Rickman, great actor. When Edward Norton first fights Brad Pitt in a fight club, he was actually asked to actually hit Pitt. Pitt's reaction is genuine and Norton was trying to stop himself from laughing during that scene. Heath Ledger almost broke Jake Gyllenhaal's nose by grabbing his head and kissing him too hard in Brokeback Mountain. The scene with Jenny on the ground outside her house in Forrest Gump is similar to painting Christina's world. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, won all 11 Academy Awards it was nominated for. I really do need to watch Lord of the Rings, don't I? William Goldman's original script title for Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was the Sundance Kid and Butch Cassidy. The names were reversed when Paul Newman took the role of Butch. When Harry met Sally, Meg Ryan laughed at the Beacon Pie improv and looked at the director who told her to keep going. Peter O'Toole was nominated for eight performance Oscars and didn't win a single one. Kind of sad, actually. When filming My Left Foot, Daniel Day-Lewis had to be lifted around the set and spoon-fed as he would never leave his wheelchair. Fact 99. David Patrick Kelly's infamous Warriors Come Out to Play line in The Warriors was completely improvised. Why are improvised lines always the best lines? And finally, 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 fact number 100. 28 Days Later was filmed on a Canon XL1 DV camera using mini DV tapes instead of 35mm film. And there you have it everybody, 100 facts about films slash movies. I really hope you did enjoy, I hope it relaxed you, maybe helped you get to sleep, but also entertained you and I hope you learned something new. If you didn't enjoy this video, Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until the next video guys.